And we're live. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Coach Daryl Lamy podcast. I will be bringing you content with some of the best sport personalities around the world and sharing their journey with the listeners and inspiring the next generation. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce my special guest for today, Jean Leroy Belliun. Welcome, Jean. Yes, you're right, Gerald. Yeah, all good, all good. Before we start, I just want to say thank you for taking your time out and sharing your experience with the nice. listeners. Yeah, it's, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's fine. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's get into it. So, who or what inspires you to start playing football? Um, so, yeah, I was young, around five or six, I was just, I got told to go to this boys club and, you know, at the time I was doing numerous sports as a kid, you would do, wouldn't you, if you're young, so, you know, I was doing all these other sports, but, you know, um. Went down there. Started off, as a, started off as a goalkeeper. Mm-hmm. Um, the person who inspired me is more like my mum, really. To be honest, she was like, "Yeah, you should just do this, do football." So yeah, I just went on from there. Really, I didn't obviously, I didn't really take it serious. From obviously, it's a young age, but you mm-hmm. played and just had fun, and you know, um, there was a lot of rotation in terms of like you know positions and playing and stuff like that. So um, yeah, I did that for. What played at Park Widen for a few years, I think I was around eight, and um, you know when you when you obviously seeing people play on the TV, I, the one person who obviously stood out was Ronaldinho. I thought he was like what entertaining, and he he's just yeah. you know just makes football look beautiful and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I just thought wow, I want to be like I want to be like him. Do you know what I mean? I just thought mm-hmm. yeah, he's you know what I mean the real deal. So obviously now. Carried on playing football for a bit more. I think I got, I got went to nine, and that's when I thought, you know what? I've actually got, you know, I've got something here. Do you know what that's I mean? Things became there. more easier. I started developing more. Plus, I played upper year, so obviously, when I went back to my own age group, when I was playing um, but just by normal boys football, it, it just, it, I just cruised through it, really, and just, yeah, it just kicked on from there, really. But, yeah, I'd say my mum who inspired me the most to, you know, get into things and stuff like that, yeah. And you see, I does like Ronaldinho. I remember yeah, watching, yeah. what was it, 2006 World Cup. Got the likes of what Zidane, Luca Toni. Do, yeah, yeah, do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, yeah man. I remember watching that spot. Yeah, that's the stage you want to be playing at. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, 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 yeah man. Hundred percent, hundred percent. So you grew, you grew mm. up in Manchester. Yeah, I grew up in Salford. I grew up in Salford. Okay. Yeah, Man in Manchester. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, Just a, so obviously mm. there was a big influence in, you know, Manchester United. Did you grow up as a Man United fan? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Literally, who, yeah, who all my United friends United? were Man United fans. Pardon? Who at Man, who at Man United was, was someone that you looked up to? Oh, wow, so many people. I'd say yeah, probably... Fair, they've had a few greats. They've had a few greats. Even yeah. I'm an Arsenal fan, but yeah, I must say... It had to be Rooney, hasn't it? It has to be Rooney. Yeah, has, Hazard, yeah Hazard Rooney. Special. Yeah, hundred percent. Wayne Rooney, yeah. Especially at that so, young so, age, he was just in his prime. So like, yeah, yeah. Wayne Rooney for sure. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, he, he he was special, man, special. So going back to to um your playing playing um as when you was growing up, so you you played with a local team to begin with. Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah, I was there for a couple of years. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, do, you, do you feel? Cause I'm sure there's a lot of coaches at the moment that will be listening to this. Um, as a as a player, it's, it's good to get your perspective in terms of playing. Do you feel it's important for for young kids to to play with the local clubs uh, as long as they can before they get into academy? Because I know once they hit the academy stage, it it starts becoming uh, serious and the yeah, footballs yeah. It start to become more of a job. Okay, yeah, I understand what you mean. Um, I think, generally, my opinion, because I've been through that, I, I think it's the best way, only because it's, you don't really have, I don't know, at a young age, do you, I don't know if you have really the pressures and, mm. you know, like, you know, the pressures to be, like, top. Do you know what, if you go into go into it as a young young kid straight away, I don't know if you have that as for, you play with more freedom when you play with your friends, do you know what I mean, every week on a Tuesday or a Saturday or... Do you know, you just, uh, mm. it's a hard one, that. Um, mm. Yeah, obviously the coaches are more, uh, are less experienced than the ones, obviously, 
you know, at the top academies, let's say, yeah, do you know what I mean, all yeah, the clubs. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, it is, that's a, that is a hard one to think about. Hard one to think yeah. about. But in terms of your experience, because uh, you played locally, how old was you when you, you got picked up by United? It was, I was nine at the time, yeah, nine. Okay, okay. So do you feel like, for instance, if you were still playing local football, was less pressure or, you know, you'd advise anyone as soon as they get picked up by a club just to go straight into a club? Yeah, so, yeah, mm, yeah, I would. I would, generally would. I got, because yeah. at the time I was playing local, obviously I was mm. the, like the standout player in my local side. I think a lot of kids yeah. would be, you know, in their academies now, do you know what I mean? But, um. Mm. Yeah, I was the top kid, and I I was getting told by my local coaches, "You're too young, you're too young, just you know, just stick with us and stuff like that." But my mum was like, "No, you gotta grasp this now. It might not ever come again." Do you know what I mean? At a young age, I didn't even know what was going on, so I didn't have a clue about this scouting business kind of yeah. stuff. You know how big teams come and pick you up. I just played because I just had fun, really. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Obviously, and um, yeah, my mum just said, "Take it now." So I just yeah. I know I just went straight into it and just never looked back pretty much yeah so if if I had to advise kids if they did get picked up from their local clubs I'd say do it so then you have an idea even if it doesn't work out or you have an idea of what's like the expect expectations mm. you know it's just the quality and stuff like that yeah I, I, I would advise people to do, just go for it yeah pretty much right. yeah no I agree with you as well it's also good for players to kind of see the standards and the levels that they, they, that yeah. they need to aspire to. Yeah, to, so yeah just, exactly. Just exactly through, close to... Yeah, go on, no, go on. Go on. No, um, no, because obviously when I want... Hello? I think it's a bit slow at the moment. <laughs> yeah, can I can hear you. Go on, go on. Yeah, yeah no, I was just saying, um, just talk us through, like, in terms of the, the process, how it happened for you to, when you got approached by United. Yeah, so... Um... I was playing in a tournament with my um, local team, and um, yeah, we did well. We did, we did end up we didn't end up winning it or anything. I was doing well though. We had like two teams, you know, at young days. There's so many of us. So um, yeah, my team was doing so well, and um, it's my mum who got approached. She got approached by um, Man City at the time, and obviously, okay. I didn't obviously know. You know, like I said, I didn't know the process of how things work. So mm-hmm. when people are mm-hmm. telling me, oh, you've been scouted, this, that, and I was just like, obviously, a kid, I was just like, oh, okay, do you know what I mean? You know what I mean? And plus, it's Man City, so I, obviously, I support Man United. So mm-hmm. I wasn't really. Mm. So, um, funny enough, I went to get an ice cream with my mum up um, at the tournament, <laughs> and um, <laughs> someone just. I don't even know where he came from, but um, Man United, um, Christopher Keaton, he's called, came up to me and he was he, he approached my mum and he's gone, um, just give her give her a card. He's yeah. gone, yeah, um, I'm from Man United. I was like, your son to come down, this, that, the other. And I've gone, um, obviously, I was over the moon. Yeah. And, you know, yeah, from there, the school, let, my primary school let me out to go to training on a Tuesday. It was like this development centre kind of place. Okay. Anyway, we did a eight week course. There's so many kids who else got scouted, and at the end of it, out of everyone, I was the only one who got picked to go on trial. So wow. went went into um went into um Littleton Road, it's called this little training ground, mm-hmm. and um went in for the first day. Likes of Angel Gomez sitting down, you know James Garner. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Just people yeah. like that. And you're thinking Mason Greenwood as well. He's my age group, mm-hmm. and okay. um. Okay. Obviously, at the t- well, you look at them now; they're big names, aren't they? But um, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, went in there, played, and I thought I shouldn't be here. That's literally what I, that was my first impression. I was like, no, nah, I shouldn't be here. It's, they're too good for me. And um, I was obviously I used to shy away a bit now and then because I just thought, no, nah, these are too good for me. Like the standard, I've never seen it in my life. Do you know what I mean coming into this environment? I'm seeing, you know, every all sorts. So. Um, I I was there for six weeks anyway. Obviously okay. grew my confidence, you know. And um yeah, I ended up getting signed really. I just, obviously I got more comfortable as I was there for longer. Became friends, yeah. you know, come out of your comfort zone, you just go for it. So yeah. 
And ever since, yeah, just flew from there, really. Flew from there, but... So it was a dream, dream come true to sign Yeah, the I was club. over the moon, over the moon, yeah. And obviously when I got offered that um, contract to stay, I was just like, yeah. I was in tears, really, so, yeah. Good. No, I can imagine. I can imagine. So, how how were the coaches towards you? Were they were they patient? You know, understanding. Yeah, they were really. Yeah, they were patient because they they were more trying to suss out where I could really play at a young age. There's mm. a lot of like I said, there's a lot of rotational positions, and you won't really find your solid position until you get older. And mm. um, I think I was um, playing as a midfielder, ended up being a right back and. Obviously, but from being a right back, I just had a massive growth spurt, so I end up being a centre back. Do you get what I mean? So, mm-hmm. um, the coaches were, yeah, they were pretty patient. Yeah, I'd say they were patient, and um, yeah, they were helping. They had a lot of demands at Man United, which I know that for sure. But yeah, 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 were, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, obviously, from a club like United, there's a lot of demands on 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 the players, but it's it's good to see that you know they're being patient with new players and considering the likes that you just said, like. Mason Greenwood, which they've probably been in the system before you, maybe. So yeah. exactly, know. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. but um, you spoke about the rotation of, of positions, which is quite important for a lot of coaches to to hear as well, because especially, all right, we're talking about Manchester United. They've got the best of coaches around the world, but local coaches as well. They they tend to usually uh, have their players in in one position. How important was it for you to? to play in different positions? I just think it's important because, you know, um, as a young age, really, you just, I reckon it's, you, you'll you know, you know from playing, you'll you'll know where you're better at, do you know what I mean? Mm. I know you're yeah. young, but you'll have a, you'll have a, like a favourite kind of position you'd want to play. And I think that rotation mm. is key because you could be stuck you could be stuck into one position and, and just not like mm. it. Do you know what I mean? You want to feel comfortable. Mm. You want to feel good playing. You want to feel good like playing in the position you are playing in. Do you know what I mean? I enjoy playing centre half for a reason. Do you understand? Yeah. So, yeah. you know, and I think everyone else does. And I think that rotation is key because then you have an idea of like what you want to be, where you, where you want to play. Do you know what I mean? Who you want to be like. You know, I think that's mm. important, really. No, 100%. Yeah, I, I agree with you as, as a coach as well, you know. I, I tend to to let players play in different positions as well. Play myself playing uh, back in the days. I, I'd always try and play different positions, like maybe right midfield, striker, centre midfield, right back, and you, you just get understanding of different positions. No, so, for instance, if I'm playing right midfield and I'm playing against a fullback, I can I know their weakness because I've already tried that position. Yeah, you know what exactly. I mean? so exactly. It, That's important, important as well. Yeah, it's just yeah, game understanding as well, isn't it? Yeah, that is that is 100%. that spot on. Yeah, hundred percent. So during your time at United, how long was you at United? I was there until under sixteen, so from from okay. under nine, so what seven years? Okay, okay. And what what specifically did you enjoy about your time at United? Was it the training? Was it being in the right environment? The facilities? Yeah, I say the facilities are astonishing. They're like, you know, top notch. But um mm. I just say just being in the environment, you know, and mm. you had so many opportunities being there, you know, going on so many tournaments, just mm. uh, getting all this, you know, kit and so stuff like that. You just it, it just felt like a dream, do you get what I mean? So um yeah, I think the environment, I think that's key because it's it's not what I'd be used to coming from local football going, you know, I was at that Lilton Road for one year and I went straight to Carrington and Carrington's like mm. dream one. Do you get what I mean? Yeah, so top of the top. Yeah. So me seeing that was like, what, hold on a minute, do you know what I mean? This is this is you know what I mean, this is where I wanna be. This is where I wanna mm. be. Do you know what I mean? So um yeah. I'd say the facilities it's it stood out the most to be honest, yeah. Yeah. And just obviously I playing know. with the just you know, the best players, really. Even Brandon Williams, yeah. you see him now, he's yeah. smashing yeah. it, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who who at that age group would you say, because obviously you, you mentioned quite a lot of names there, who who at that age group would you say that's kind of surprised you, that's maybe gone further than what they've probably looked at, at at that age group? Is anyone specific? Uh, I'm, I'm not really surprised by Mason, only because he, um, he was just, he, as you see, both footed. 
Um, he's had it from had it from early. He's but I think mm. <sighs> interesting one that interesting one, Brandon. But then again, he was always you know co- pretty consistent the way he played. Mm. I I mm. just think for me to see Angel Gomez what he did in training and stuff was absolutely out of this world. Like, but um. Mm. I'd say, yeah, I'm quite surprised by him only because he hasn't had, I think he hasn't had the opportunity like everyone else has to, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. fulfil his potential. Do you get what I mean? Because I've yeah, I've yeah. witnessed it. And I, some of the things I used to see in training was just like, you know, jaw dropping. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, again, it's that transferring from the tr- um, the training ground to the to the pitch, which some some players find it difficult. But then again. Like you said, it's you got to be given opportunities, which is yeah. Which I is think opportunities one. is key. Yeah, yeah. yeah that is it could one. be literally one chance. I've heard so many stories. It could literally yeah. be one chance, and that could keep you in the job. It's just as simple yeah. as that. So no, for sure. But I mean, look, you look at examples from a United, for instance, like Rashford, which I'm sure obviously he was he was doing, you know, he was doing great things at at Resi yeah. level, but he, he got that opportunity against Arsenal, and 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 the rest is history. Do you know what I mean? Mm. He's, How did you he's feel about that one? Yeah, I mean, I mean, what in terms of Rashford? In terms of Arsenal? Oh, <laughs> at the <laughs> moment, <laughs> at the moment, yes, yeah, it's, it's 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 a transition phase, but it's, we we've been in transition yeah. phase for for God knows how long. But yeah, I'm, but that's I think again, that's the same with Man U. Yeah. Let's be honest, Joe. You know I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. It's the same. But uh, what I'm what I'm more. Um, looking forward to is is the young players coming through as well. Yeah, of course. You know, like that's that's exciting for me to be honest with you because I'm all about the youth. I'm about youth development and yeah. and you know getting the best out of the players and seeing Arsenal's youth players at the moment. It's quite exciting, but yeah, we, we won't get into it too much for that one, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but yeah. So in terms of coaches, what 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 do you look for in a coach? What what stands out for you in a coach? thing what stands out the most I'd say you know having that kind of connection with the coach Mm. in terms of like you know on a friendly basis but Mm. the coach understanding that player because not all players are the same so you know Mm. it's you know you have different characters even in my workplace now I have different characters and the way you act towards some people might not necessarily like you know it's, Mm. it's it's a hard one because I know some people in the environment now who, uh, it's the way, sometimes if you speak to them in a certain way, you will speak to someone else. Yeah. It might not yeah. come across as, across as, uh, it's, it's hard yeah. to say. Yeah, might, people yeah, might react differently. Do you get what yeah. I mean? Yeah. yeah. And it's just knowing your player, knowing how to speak mm. to them. Do you know, having that connect, mm. that I think that's important, you know. And um, in a coach, really, it's just a coach who's just motivating, just, which is, you know, mm. wants you to win games, you know, just positive. But yeah. he knows when it's right. Yeah, you are out, out, in my coach anyway, demanding anyway. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. not really so laid back, just, you know, demanding. He wants the best out of you, do you know what I mean? Yeah, and no, if they remind you all the time, listen, they're only being demanding because they want the best out of you. And that, I think that really helps because mm. obviously some people can take it in a different way. And just think, oh, here we go. He's on to me again, and that's mm. that's normal, man. Like even mm. even I myself, I might you know think, oh, here we go again. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Oh, he's saying this, that, the other. I'm doing it, this, that. But you know that you got to think about it. the bigger picture in it. They're only trying to help. It's part of your mm. development in it. So um, I think that's I think that there that's the that's important to be honest. Having that connection yeah. with a player, I think that's the most for me anyway. That's the most important. Yeah, no, that's a that's a good point. That's a good point. It's like you said, is understanding your players and the different needs because some players might need an arm over their shoulder and some players might need a a shouting at to get the best out of them. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you. Yeah. So with, with, with your time at United, so you said you was up till sixteen. So what 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 happened after that? Um. So after sixteen, obviously. There was numerous clubs around. Mm. Um, obviously, people finding out about this um, scholars at um, Man U and stuff like that, and obviously 
I just thought my New Year just weren't, just weren't meant to be, really. So, um, mm. after that, my mum was getting phone calls, this, that, the others. And um, I got approached by Sheffield, Sheffield United. And I remember mm. speaking to my mum, and I was like, are you sure? Like, you know what I mean? You know, and I was just like, mm, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? At the time, what? They were League One? League One? Yeah. So, um, yeah. they were doing well in League One, top of League One. Looking like they were going to get promoted easily. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, so you know what I said to him, right? We'll go down, play the match, and um, even before I was about to play, they offered me a contract. So mm-hmm. they were saying, "Oh, we've already seen you play. We'd like to offer mm-hmm. you straight away." Uh, so I went to play a match anyway. They, uh, we played against Sheffield Wednesday, so that was my first game. I just went, yeah. So um, we ended up winning that game. Derby, went straight into Derby. Like, yeah, straight to a derby. Yeah, so yeah. obviously for them kids there who are playing who I don't know, it's, it means a lot to them. So I just mm. thought, yeah, I'm going to have to put it all in. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, you know, I want to impress as well at the same time. And obviously I can I can see there's a lot of people there, big crowd, there's big atmosphere. I think, okay, mm. so, you know, you're starting to get, to, you know, the just of how things work around there and just how, how things are, what it's like, culture, this, that, the other. Played in that match, um, won, and yeah, I remember um, the staff was just like, yeah, yeah, we want to sign you, want to sign you, want to make yeah. it happen as quick as possible, and yeah, just I thought about it. There was other clubs in that as well, but um, ended up signing yeah for um, Sheffield United, and just yeah, been there now, still there now, so yeah, enjoying it. Look, look. Looking at it right now, in terms of like the first team, you made the right decision because they're, they're in the Premier League. Yeah, um, it's it's crazy, isn't it? It's it's yeah. kind of mad looking back at that, thinking I I went to League One and look where they are now, and it's just they're smashing it as well. So it's the progress and what the manager's done at the club is ridiculous. For no, me, anyway, but, it's, it's but, inspiring. But... No, no, they've done amazing. They've done amazing, mm. but um. For anyone, because obviously, if you compare the, the size of clubs like United and Sheffield, Sheffield United, for any for any young players that have been in the same position as you, like mm. what what was your what was you going through? Because going from Manchester United, you'd think you know, I can get into another top side, and and no disrespect to Sheffield United, they they mm-hmm. they're doing they're doing amazing at the moment, yeah, and they're in the Premier League. But at that time, like you said, they were in League One. What was what was going through your mind? Was you thinking, is it too much of a step down for me? Can I can I get back up? You know, I what, think, what was you? I think it's just the motivation of just getting back up there. Yeah. I think that, that was the main one. I remember my mum. She was, I was playing, and I'll, and I'll say this now. She was in tears. She seen me play that game, and she was like, because she, she was so used to being around Carrington. And then she's mm. seen the facilities. Not it was at Chef, you know, it was at Chef Wednesday even. Yeah. But we won't talk about that one. But the facilities were well. Yeah. Um <laughs> So um she she was in tears, she's just like, Wow, it's just like it it came to a shock to her because she was like, Right, this is it now, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? This is what we have to deal with, maybe. Do you know what I mean? Mm. For the for the future. And I was just like, Don't worry, man. We'll you know what I mean, we'll be we'll be there one day. So um mm. Yeah, so it was just, you know, having that motivation with listen, I can make my way to the top. Just, mm. I just have to start from now, really. And if, if this is the path, pathway I have to go through to come down, to step down and not be at them, you know, top cut one size and come straight down here, then I'll have to do it. And yeah. And but yeah. Mentally, it's, you, it's have to, you have to be strong to do that, though. You yeah, you do. You do. Yeah. You give yourself credit and for. It's about, yeah, of course. And you're living away from home and stuff like that, mm. you know. Away from you, obviously my mom and just my friends mm. and that and just yeah, it it wasn't it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. I did get out homesick a lot and just thought, oh, mm. you know, going through the motions in training because sometimes I didn't want to be there and that. Yeah, I felt that. Mm. It's just, yeah. it's it's not it's not easy, but then but again, you need you the right people, people around you. you. It's saying it's yeah. again the coaches. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. influenced it so. Yeah, no, that's important. That's important. So, what what was the difference in terms of like coaches wise again between Sheffield and and United? I think, uh, in terms of that, I think obviously at sixteen when you're going out of football and into football 
I know it's obviously your job in it. So that's that is your profession from now on. From you know what I mean, that is what you get paid for. So I thought when I went to Sheffield, things are way more de- demanding than what they were. Obviously, being at the under nine sixteens, because it's not really. You know, I'm not. I won't say serious, but it's you know, your profession. The, it's way more important. You get what I mean. You know, if yeah. you don't, if you're not well, or if you're not, if you don't do great for them, what, what two years as your scholar, that's yeah. it. So. The pressures were like way higher going to Sheffield. The, yeah. In terms of coaches, I think the coaching was more, more or less the same, with like yeah. the, even the sessions they put on, and um, yeah, I wouldn't really think there's much difference. But obviously, when going to under 18s football, it's you yeah. it's competitive in it, so you're playing in a league, so you know there's high expectations in that they want to win the league. I went there, they won the league that year, so. Do you know what I mean? I was going into that kind of environment there, winning team. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. They don't like losing and stuff like that, and they're quite demanding in training sessions. I remember the coaches who were there now, because a lot of the coaches who were at Sheffield United now were um, were there when I first came. So a lot of yeah. things happened at the club. I really like. I wouldn't really want to say, but you know, it's those proper coaches there, and just, yeah, yeah. yeah, things happen. Things happen, but. No, that's football for you, isn't it? Things always happen. Things change rapidly. But in the position that you're in now, do you think you've got more of a chance to break through into the first team at, at Sheffield United or or if you were still at United now? Uh, right now, right now, I'd say not at the moment. Only I'm only saying that because mm. just how well the first team are doing. Like, mm. I can just see that and think, well, why would the gaffer change anything because mm. they're doing mm. so well I think it's just mm-hmm. the way he's doing it is so perfect and I understand you know the fact that we just might have to work even harder now and plus being in yeah. the Premier League do you know what I mean we've just been promoted so it makes that yeah. makes it makes it harder for us to even break through mm. so you know that's that process it's just um, at the moment no but then again we get opportunities to train with them so okay. you know okay. when you go up there Obviously, you have to impress and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Mm. It's, that's the yeah, process yeah. of how to do it. And just, um, yeah, we get opportunities. The opportunities are there. And the, the, the good thing is, as well, with our under-23 games, the manager comes and watches all our 23s games or okay. any of the first-team staff come and watch us on a mm-hmm. weekday. Mm-hmm. So we're always in the loop. We're always, you know, getting watched. And mm-hmm. that's the advice from coaches we get, you know, to be like the, the person who's in our position currently. Do you know what I mean? We want to be yeah. as good as them. Do you know what I mean? That's that's the only way we're going to get in that first team at the moment. Do you, under, do you understand? Because they're doing so well. So, Not yeah. for sure. Is, is there anyone in the first team that, that kind of looks after the youngsters and gives them advice or anything like that? Um, in terms of that, really, um, advice, I'd say Billy Sharp, the captain, for sure. Mm-hmm. I think mm-hmm. he's good. When you go up there, there's a lot of, there's a lot of players who are... Who are um, Good. I say John Egan's good with the lads. He he's yeah. very good in, in fact, yeah. He speaks to a lot of a lot of the lads there. It makes everyone feel comfortable, especially when you go up there as well. I think mm-hmm. before Ra- Ravel went on loan, he was he was a funny character as well. He, he was, was quite he was quite good with the youngsters for sure. Yeah. Yeah, no, sure. and and I can imagine I've heard some stories about him in training that he's he's his talent is oh, unbelievable. No. Oh, well. Oh well. It, yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's 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 somewhere else, somewhere else. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Where's where he gone? He's gone to Middlesbrough now. Middlesbrough, yeah. Yeah. Middlesbrough. yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, this is his chance to break through to the first yeah. team and just yeah, come up and stuff. Yeah, I'd be happy for him, hundred yeah. like, percent. So it's, it's been it's been tough, but yeah, it's, I'd be happy for him to just you know for him to do his thing there. That's it. Yeah, no. Well, I think we all are, man, because you know, young players like Kim. It, It'll be devastating to see players like that not make it all the way to the top. But again, like you said, football changes and, you know, circumstance changes. But, yeah, we're, we're going to have to wait and see with that one. Yeah. But right, back, right, back to you. Who, who would you who would you model your game around? Um, I have idols and stuff like that. Model my game around people like John Egan, I'd say. Yeah. Because I just look at him because he plays in the exact same position as me. You know, I want to be. He's a he's a leader at the back. Do you know what I mean? He's 
he's composed, he, he always gets first contact, wins his duels and stuff like that. I've got, mm. what, Varane there, I'd say. Recovery runs. Mm. 1v1 for defending, sure. one Bissaka, for sure. I think mm. I think he's just, for me, the, he's just top at that. He's just, no one else. 1v1, him, Kalidou Koulibaly as well. 1v1 mm. defending. St- stepping out with the ball, composure as well. Yeah. There's a lot of players that are the game, but obviously, main one, I want to be like, you know, John Egan, I'd say, but... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's a lot of centre halves there. I'd probably say them three or them four maybe. Obviously, Wan Bissaka is a right back, but they stand out in terms of defending and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. And do you do you do much analysis yourself? Like, do you watch videos or? Yeah. In terms of well, our sessions, are videoed every every time we every time we train, every time we train, yeah. they're videoed. Everything, everything yeah. we do, the matches, the training. So you know, we can look back on that, and even our coaches will put comments on what we can do to improve, what's good. Do you know what I mean? What I need to do better. So, um, yeah, that's literally every day. Every day. Every day. Yeah, so, important. yeah, it is important. And obviously, we have Huddle to help us do that, which is good. The video on us guys are great. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it sounds your your journey so far, and I'm sure your journey is it's going to continue as well. Because yeah, you know, I'm sure you 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 got the ability to to break into the first team, whether it be at Sheffield or not. I I wish it is at Sheffield, um, but whether it will be at Sheffield or not, I'm sure you know with with the mindset that you've got at the moment and what you've been through, you can clearly see that you know you're very driven. You're you're working hard. You've got a good support. You've mentioned your mum where she's there to support you. So it's amazing to hear. Any words to any young players who who, who have been in your position before? Just to wrap it up. Um, in terms of, yeah, just in terms of um, playing, I'd just say if the opportunity is there, um, don't be afraid to just take it. And if it's there, just make sure you just do it with no regrets. I think that's the, I mm. think for me, that's important because if you if you're gonna look back and just think could I have done this could I have done that I don't think that's really like good enough just because mm. if you could have done it then you know what I mean I think leaving you gotta do everything with no regrets yeah. just make sure I have that mindset thinking did I do enough oh yeah I have done enough do you know what I mean just all. yeah give it your all man and just and that comes with anything you do do you know what I mean that's just not even mm. just in football that's even off the pitch as well do you know what I mean. People see that and it's yeah. important. Even at my building now, they see that what you do off the pitch. Yeah, mm. it's you do the observe of the things you do. So that all comes into place. Are you a good professional? This, that, the other. So yeah, mm. I'd say that for sure. But yeah, no, I appreciate that. Appreciate it. Now that's top. I'm sure again for anyone that's listening or any young players that are listening to this. I'm sure they'll 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 research your journey or whatnot, and like you said, it's giving it a hundred percent because you don't want to leave with any regrets, thinking oh, I should have done this, I should have done that. So mm. you, you said it, you said it, man. So but well, I appreciate. Thanks for your time, Sean, and I'm I'm looking forward to seeing you in the prem very very soon. Yeah, for sure, for sure, man. Thanks for this anyway, man. No problem, yeah, no problem. Nah, appreciate, it, appreciate, it, man. Take care, and we'll speak soon. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much for that. Cheers. Uh, no worries, no worries.